Hello YouTube land and welcome to another edition of Teacher Talks Second Grade. In this one I'll be doing another book from the Who Would Win book series by Jerry Pallotta and Rob Bolster. These guys are geniuses. So who would win? Killer Whale versus Great White Shark. So if you know this channel and you know me, I level all my books. This guy right here in the box is a level P so that all my students know that this is a, well, a P book puts this at about third grade. In fact, it kind of puts it towards the end of third grade. So I am a stickler about the kids and students reading books at their level. And if they're not quite at this level, well, that means you need to practice, 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 and work your way up to this level. So the Who Would Win series, there is a whole bunch of books by these guys and they are awesome, engaging, and fun. Right now we're in the middle of the year in second grade, which means we dive into nonfiction. And these guys make nonfiction come to life. They make it exciting, fun, engaging. It's a whole series here, and I think I've got just about every one. If you uh, subscribe and like this channel, go check out the rest of the videos I have on here. So with no further ado, I will dive into this book. Just as a warning, I do not read the whole book to you. I'll just kind of do a walkthrough and hit up some of the major areas that they're going to be discussing about these two um, animals, creatures, or what have you in these kind of books. Um, and then we will kind of show you at the end of the book how the book wraps up. But again, the idea is not for me to read it to you. The idea is to decide if this is a good fit book for you, and if it is, then go hit up your parents or your teacher. Hey, can we get this book into the classroom? I think it's a good fit for us or for me, and maybe with the holidays coming up, you can talk to mom and dad about maybe picking this one up. This is Scholastic. They're about three bucks, real cheap. Sometimes when the new ones come out or the more popular ones, they can run all the way up to $10. I see them on Amazon, but in general, three or four bucks. Go to Scholastic, students out there or parents, Ask your teacher if they do Scholastic. If they don't, try one of the neighboring classrooms and see if one of those teachers does Scholastic, and oftentimes they'll help you out. So I let kids from other classrooms do Scholastic through my account, and that way they can still get these books, and Scholastic is inexpensive books. So that's the main reason why you want to do that, parents, is these books are much less expensive than, say, Amazon or some of these other choices, although I'm a huge fan and love Amazon, buy a lot of books through them. Some of these books you can find at a much better deal uh, going through Scholastic, and this is one of those series. So let's do a quick walkthrough. For teachers out there, if you know Standard 9 where you compare and contrast texts, it's supposed to be over two texts, but in this one, you can obviously compare and contrast these two animals, creatures, or whatever they're featuring, and this one is no exception. So it's going to talk about some of the... Um, some of the different, some of the similar things and differences between these two, uh, between these two um, animals, the killer whale over here on the left and the great white shark on the right. And look at those teeth and kind of showing you, yeah, this is really cool. My students always love this. The actual size of the teeth. I mean, come on, how cool is that? And kind of their shape too. That's really interesting. Differences between the boys and the girls, or the males and the females. And kind of talking about that, um, I was going to say circle of life. It's really the food chain here that we're talking about. Their size. Hmm. These animals breaching. Why do they breach? Well, buy the book. Read it. This is interesting. <clears throat> so how they thrust, how they move, what pushes them forward, and it's obviously a different motion. Pretty cool. Ah, how one uses sonar and another that sense of smell. Their speed, how fast they move through the water. You see all of these like bonus facts and, and kinds of things that are just awesome for the students. Size of their brain. There's the great white shark brain right here. Pretty cool. And now we're getting towards the end of the book. So, as always, who would win um, 
Well, they get to the end of the story and they tell you who would win if these guys really battled in real life, who would win that fight, or maybe who would win it most of the time. Bad news for you, if you want to find out who wins, I'm going to ask you to go buy this book. I'm not going to tell you who wins. Sorry. Leave in a comment. Did you really want to know who won? Are you willing to go buy the book? And if I left you knowing who won this book or who won this battle, would you go buy this book? That's the whole point here, kids. Make sure you understand it's not that you would do this instead of buying the book. It's to get you interested, exciting in this style of nonfiction, and then you can go out, buy this series, and read these books. Hey, listen, if you like this, please subscribe. i got a whole bunch of videos just like this one. Like the video if you did. If you didn't, leave me a comment. Hey, here's what we didn't like. Please don't do this in the future or make this kind of change or suggestions. I'll take them. I'm listening and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great day.